everyone, welcome to Keto Alicious. Today is day four of my keto diet um, journey. And so I've been talking about this spatchcock chicken and we are going to prepare it today and kind of talk a little bit about why it got that name. Spatchcock just means butterflying. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the back end of it. Now I do it with scissors <clears throat> and because I don't want to cut myself with a knife, I guess you could do it with a knife. I'm going to be very careful. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it because when you bake your chicken, uh, instead of baking it whole like this, it takes uh, a lot less time. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this, and then when I take the back out, I'm gonna flip it over on the breast, and then I'm gonna smash it down and kind of break the, the chest cavity, and it will lay flat. And there's multiple ways that you can cook this. You can put it in the oven, season it, put it in the oven. You can, uh, you can actually put it in a big frying pan and you can lay something on top of it and you can <clears throat> excuse me you can smash it and cook it on each side and it kind of it kind of has that fried chicken appeal or you can um you know we do a lot of cooking outside camping and you can take a big pot put it over the campfire do the same thing throw some vegetables and throw some uh, seasoning and some herbs in it and then go ahead and take it and throw it in there, put something heavy on top of it, and then you can uh, flip it, and it gets a real crusty crunch on the outside, and it's super tender on the inside. So anyway, so I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna just get to the back, make sure that your chicken is fresh, and you just wanna start to cut along the bone there, and it kinda has an opening um, in the backs, kind of where this little area is right here. So you can just start and cut the skin and stay along the outer side of where the, um, where the bones are and you'll hear them. And if you feel that they're crunching the bone, then go ahead and you can cut a little bit lower to make it easier on you. And you kind of just pull as you cut and you know some some are easier than others and some you know just take a minute or two and it's not super hard it's just you know it takes a couple a couple times of doing it and then you get you know you get pretty good at it and you just keep cutting along until you get to the end there and sometimes it's tougher than others but just keep at it you probably need <laughs> you probably need sharper scissors than mine that would probably help a lot i don't know you should invest in some some better scissors i guess i don't do this very often so i guess Anyway, so I wanted to share with you, uh, day three was really good for me. I had announced to you guys that I lost three and a half pounds, which I'm really excited about. And um, today is a beautiful day. So I think I might just go out and take a little stroll a little later. There we go, on one side. And just get some fresh air. I, uh, last night, I ended up, it was so busy last night, I ended up uh, just making, okay, so there it is. Let me just take that aside. But last night I ended up uh, just making a meat and cheese tray. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. Hold on just a minute. Okay, and I grabbed my uh, avocado oil. So, yeah, so last night I made pepperoni and uh, ham, 
and just some Swiss cheese and cheddar cheese and I cut up a couple strawberries for sweetness. Um, what else? And I had a lot of water and I had, uh, I, oh, I had a half of an avocado for, for a little bit of fat. So, and then I had had some macadamia nuts for a snack yesterday. And for breakfast, I think I shared with you, I had three eggs fried. I had a half, actually I had a whole avocado, I think, and a little bit of cheddar cheese uh, or mozzarella cheese. So yesterday was a good day. I haven't felt hungry yet. My challenge is I forget to eat, so um, I just have to continue on. <clears throat> but when I do sit down at the middle in, uh, in the evening, that's when I realize, wow, you know, I... I do need to keep up with my with my food. All right, guys, so I'm going to turn this around. And it is really as simple as just take, oop, get my, <laughs> get my arms out of there, smashing it down onto a frying pan or a pan. And that is it. You have spatchcock chicken. And I am going to lay this flat out. I'm going to put the wings underneath. I'll show you here just like that so the wings don't burn. You don't have to do that. That's just kind of a old thing that I've done for years. Sometimes they stay, sometimes they don't. You know, there's really no rules to this. It's just um, you just want it to, you know, just lay flat. And so again, I'm going to wash my hands. Hold on just a moment. And now I'm going to put some olive oil on it. Or I'm sorry, avocado oil. And I'm going to just, you know, just put a little bit. You don't have to put much, but it just allows some of the seasonings to kind of stick to it. And for me, I'm always about, you know, trying to get a little extra fat somewhere because I'm not super good at it. So I've got some Bragg's um, <clears throat> herbs. There's no salt on them, but it has a lot of herbs and I use this for a lot of my soups and things. So you don't have to use exactly what I use. You can use whatever you want. And of course, some black pepper. Perfect. And some garlic salt. Actually, it's garlic powder. I'm sorry, not salt. And Himalayan sea salt, my favorite. I cannot get enough of that. <clears throat> and then just for some spunk, I put some red pepper flakes on it just so that it gives a little bit of a bite. You put some cayenne pepper on it. If you don't like um, hot, then don't put it on. And that's it. Look at that. That's beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the oven uh, for three, on 350 degrees. And I check it in about 30, 35 to 40 minutes. I don't turn mine because I like I like the top to be really crunchy and crispy. And then you can cut from it, you can eat it for dinner, you can, you know, separate it, you can start using it for other uh, entrees, other snacks, and we can go over that later. But um, so that's it. That's spatchcock chicken. And when it gets done, I'm gonna take some pictures of it. And then I'm going to post it so that you guys can see the finished product. But I want to tell you that <clears throat> I am very excited for each and every one of you to be following me. I hope that you feel like you are getting some good information and I hope I'm motivating you to stay with this. It's worth it. I've only been with it for four days. I am not an expert, that is for sure, but I feel good. And I feel, 
you know, when I feel good, I, I want to share it with everybody. So be watching for more recipes like this. Let me know in the comments if you like me cooking in front of you. <clears throat> also, uh, for motivation of the day, just remember that you're important. Do not let anybody in your family <clears throat> discourage you from what you think is important. If you're not getting the support that you need, sometimes silence is better. If somebody doesn't know that you're doing something, they can't judge it. I've learned that from experience. I've been my worst enemy by sharing things that really, you know, I'm not saying that you don't need to share it. I'm just saying that if you feel like you already know you're going to get negative input from friends or family, anybody close to you, don't put yourself in that situation. You're better than that. You're better than um, that person is um, portraying for you. And you just need to stick strong. If you feel better, then then do it and nobody else can tell you what is right or wrong so i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day um i will again i will be taking some pictures of this when it's done i will post the recipe on my blog which will be down below this uh this description and i would also um have a final picture of it when i um when I put this video up. So you should you should get that pretty soon. I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks again for sticking with me. This is day four and I'm so looking forward to every day forward. Day five tomorrow, got some things, some fun things for you. So stay tuned. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And and it's been in there for about 20 minutes, so it's looking good. So this is the chicken. It just came out of the oven. Look how beautiful it looks. It is crispy on the outside, and it is tender on the inside. It's absolutely wonderful. So enjoy, everybody.